Hello and welcome back to the Fan Movie Trivia Schmodown. I am your host, Chris Doman, a.k.a. the unofficial Harloff, Chris Skywalker. Here with me tonight in the co and chair for the first uh, newbie match in a while, I got Case, the Assassin Cornelius. Uh, Case, we have a couple of newbies here. Uh, how excited would you say you are? I'm fairly excited. This is the first newbies match. I want to see what these guys can do. I mean, we've been waiting for this for a while. Just want to see... How these guys fare? We have no idea really about their movie knowledge. Uh, this is the first time we'll see about it. So yeah, that's it. Yeah, definitely. And speaking of the newbies, let's let's introduce them up to bat first. We have a man who calls himself the Real American, John Salvi. Sir, welcome onto the show. Welcome to your first match. How's it feel? Feels great. Can't wait to get started. Uh, I'm looking for a good match. Awesome. You know, being a gentleman about it, I really appreciate that. And his opponent, uh, all the way from Germany, we have. Okay, uh, I gotta try to pronounce this correctly. Uh, I'm only American, so I so forgive me. Jan Engelman. I'm just kidding. Uh, we have Jan Engelman. Uh, mein Herr, willkommen, willkommen. Uh, wie geht es Ihnen? Very good, actually. I'm actually not bad. I'm impressed. I'm impressed by the pronunciation. Vier Jahre in Deutsch, so hoping this is kind of a bit expression. <laughs> Man, the accent is killing me, but it's it's pretty good. True, it's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So before I embarrass myself too much more with uh, what limited uh, foreign languages I do know, uh, well, you know, what, with that out of the way, here we go, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the fan movie trivia showdown. Introducing first. Making his fan movie trivia showdown debut, he calls himself the Real American. Give it up for John Salvi and his opponent. Also making his fan movie trivia showdown debut, all the way from the beautiful country of Germany. Give it up for the giant Jan Engelmann. All right, let's do this. So, round one is going to go like this. Each competitor will receive four questions from four predetermined categories and sets of twos. Each question is worth one point apiece, and there is no stealing in this round. Jan, surprisingly, you are the favorite going into this match. Would you like to go first or second? Uh, I'll do first. Okay. And John, please choose either category one or category two. Category two. Sounds good. Uh, Case, I will have you read to the fellow who is from your continent. I'll read to the fellow who is from my country. Sounds good. Okay. Mr. Salvi, your yes. first question. In the category of comic book movies, since 2003's Hulk, there have been three actors to play the character in live-action movies. Name two of them. Um, Mark Ruffalo. And Edward Norton. Okay, that's correct. We also would have accepted Eric Bana. Nicely done. The second question in the category of animated. Antagonized by the main character, farmers Bogus, Bunce, and Bean are the antagonists of which film? And what category was this? I'm sorry. Animated. Animated. Uh, it's not ringing any bells. Okay. We were looking for Fantastic Mr. Fox. Okay. Wes Anderson classic. (laughs) Haven't haven't seen it, so that's probably good. (laughs) Yeah, I haven't seen it either. That's that's not a crap. Anyway, Young, we'll go over to you. First category, comic book movies. In Kingsman the Secret Service, what actor played Merlin? Uh, Mark Strong. Nice. That is correct for a point. Your second question in category of animated. What is the name of the character Jennifer Saunders voices in Shrek 2? Could you repeat the name? Jennifer oh. Saunders. It's been so long since I've seen that movie. 
five, four, three. I don't know the queen. Two. I don't know the name. This is incorrect. We were looking for the fairy godmother. Okay, tie game so far, one to one. As we come back over to John. Your third question, under the category of Star Wars. Anakin asks Padme if she is an angel from the moons of what? They live on the moons of Iego, I think. Yeah. Oh god. The hardcore yeah, Star Wars knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> What's weird is that that's, you know, that even show up in the Clone Wars. But the last question, under the category of action adventure, in The Matrix Reloaded and The Matrix Revolutions, what is the name of Niobe's ship? Niobe's ship. Um... Actually, Niobe. Oh, who cares if they were not good movies? <laughs> I know the I know the other one was Nebuchadnezzar, uh, the Niobe ship. Uh, I was completely drawing a blank right now. Five, four, three. I'll uh, say the, the Dauntless. I don't know. Not a bad guess, you know. Uh, the answer you look for was the Logos. All right. Young, for your third question in the category of Star Wars, finish the quote, Lord Vader, ship approaching, blank. Jeez. Oh, I know what the movie is from, but... Five. A face of maneuvers? Incorrect. We were looking for X-Wing class. Uh, all right. All right. Never mind. Your last question in category of action adventure. T2 Judgment Day features a character named uh, called Miles Dyson. What was his middle name? I have no idea. I haven't seen the movie. <laughs> oh. That was yeah, I, I don't know. One of my favorite movies of all time. Anyway, we were looking for Bennett. All right. All right, tie game. Uh, tie coming game uh, as we come into round two, and it will go as such. Each <clears throat> competitor will choose a number between one through six, which pertains to a certain movie category. You will be given the category names ahead of time, but not the number they are associated with. And you may pick twice, but you must stick with the second option if the first one is not to your liking. You will then be given four questions worth two points apiece, Though multiple choice is available for one point, and there is stealing in this round. Uh, Jan, it's a tie game, and you're still the favorite. Would you like to go first or second in this round? I will defer again. Sounds good. Okay, John, the categories in this round are drama, 80s movies, comic book movies, Samuel L. Jackson, Disney, and a possibly controversial uh, category, Lord of the Rings. Oh, maybe that's that's for me. <laughs> I think I that's the for both of you. I think it's for both of us. Yeah. Oh, yeah wait. Um. Number one. Four? Oh, number four. Number four. Sorry. Okay. Sorry, it's all good. That is the category of Disney. Would you like to stick with that or go for something else? I, I think I'll actually stick with that. Okay. Right. Okay, so we'll reach the questions for Disney. Indeed. All right, your first question. According to the Beast, what wing is forbidden in Beauty and the Beast? Oh my god, it's a 50 50 chance. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. We just watched this movie the other night with my girls. Oh. Uh, I have to take a shot. I'll just say East Wing. Yeah, I'm to like steal. I'm gonna say West Wing. Also, That's an amazing correct. show. Oh, That's correct. Oh, wow. <sighs> it was one right. or the other. <laughs> Your second question. What Star correct? Wars Sorry. actor hosts the segment Carnival of the Animals in Fantasia 2000s? 
I'm sorry, can you repeat the just per question? I'm sorry. Yeah. What Star Wars actor hosts the segment Carnival of the Animals in Fantasia 2000? Carnival of the Animals in Fantasia. You can go for multiple uh, choice. Multiple choice, I'm sorry. I forgot I right. that up. Your options are A, Carrie Fisher, B, Ian McDermott, C, James Earl Jones, or D, Natalie Portman. I'm going to take a total shot and say Natalie Portman. That is incorrect. Yeah, Jan, would you like to steal? steal. Carrie Fisher? Also incorrect. We were looking for Darth Vader himself, James Earl Jones. Oh, well. All right, John, for your third question in Disney, how many Oscars did Pinocchio win? Uh, let's see. Probably best time. Uh, let's go multiple choice. All right, your options are A, zero, B, two, C, four, or D, six. Uh, I'm going to say four. This is incorrect. Jan, would you like to steal? Could you repeat the, the option, please? A, zero, B, two, C, four, or D, six. Oh, it's zero. It's also incorrect. We were looking for two. Two? Oh. Not capitalizing on the steals. Oh, boy. And for your last I'm question... I'm lucky, too. Hmm? I'm, I'm lucky he's not stealing these. <laughs> yeah, true. All right, your last question. Who directed Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides? Uh... Was it, um... Gore Vabinski? I can't remember how to say his name. I'm not saying his name right. Uh, Incorrect. Jan, would you like to steal? The movie wasn't very good. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Give him a point just for that. <laughs> let's, say, let's say Brad Ratner, because it wasn't very good. Oh. And that's also incorrect. We were looking for Rob Marshall. Oh, God. All right. Okay, so Jan did get uh, some points off of John there, but to be fair, anything could still happen in the second half of round two. And Jan, the main categories in this round are 80s movies, Lord of the Rings, Samuel L. Jackson, comic book movies, and drama. Please choose a number between one through six, and four is off the table. Let's go with one. That's the category of Samuel L. Jackson. Would you stick with that or go for something else? Uh, I'll take something else. Uh, let's go on number five. All right, and I will read you the questions for drama. Yeah. Best of luck. Thank God it was one. It's a two out of five there for me. Uh, I'm lucky. <laughs> okay, your first question. In what year is Andy Dufresne imprisoned in the Shawshank Redemption? What year? In what, in what year? You can go to multiple shots. Oh, uh, I know. Let's go with that. Okay. A, 1943. B, 1945. C, 1947. D, 1949. Let's say 1949. Okay, John, chance to steal. Um... Uh... Can you repeat the, uh, the options? Sorry. Sure. A. 1943. B. 1945. C. 1947. D. 1949. Uh, 1947. Nice. He got a point. Yes. Yeah. It was one of the two after the war. God, it had to be. <laughs> yeah. It was, I know it was after the war. <laughs> uh, damn it. Your next question, Jan. Who plays the, the main character, Davis, in 2016's Demolition? Multiple choice. Okay. Your options are A, Chris Cooper, B, Michael Shannon, C, James McAvoy, D, Jake Gyllenhaal. Jake Gyllenhaal? Nice. Correct. 
Okay. Third question. What is the name of Diane Keaton's character in The Godfather? Oh, God, I haven't seen Godfather in so long. Oh, shit. One more double choice, please. Okay. Your options are A, K, B, Luna, C, Nika, D, Jin. You go with K? Yeah, the only one that the only one that sounded like an actual uh, Earth. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I thought. Nicely done. Right. And for your final question, under the category of drama, at the beginning of Room, Jack has his birthday. What? How old does he become? Multiple choice isn't very useful here. Just gonna say some numbers. We're gonna go, uh, go and go with eleven. Woo. John, chance to steal. Uh, never saw it, but I'm gonna say twelve. <laughs> both, uh, off. both kind of. Okay. Yeah, he turned five at the beginning of the film. Oh, well, you know, there you go. Never saw it. Never, never seen the movie. All right, five to two. Young in the lead. All right. As we come into round three, and it will go as such. Each competitor will be given the year, genre, and three plot keywords of a given film. If they know the answer from that information alone, and they get it correct, they'll receive five points. However, if they need two more keywords, the total possible goes down to three points. And if one last keyword is needed, the total possible goes down to one point, and there is no stealing in this round. Jan, since you are in the lead, would you like movie number one or movie number two? Take movie number one. Okay. John, I will read you your movie for movie number two. Okay. Your year is 2002. Your genre, adventure, fantasy, drama. And your first three plot keywords are wizard, dwarf, battle. Uh, 2002. Uh, Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers? Five points for the real American! <laughs> oh my god. That is ridiculous. That oh, I don't get that movie. Oh my that was god. A, I, just had to, I just had to remember which one came out which year. I was drawing a little <laughs> blank on that. True. Woo! Um, Nicely done. Man. Indeed. Well, John, let's see if you can get this one. Your year is 2009. Your genres... Fantasy, Adventure, Family. And your first three plot keywords are Potion, Professor, and Ring. <sighs> you can go for two more if you want. Yeah. Can you repeat the everything? Okay. Your That's year... Okay is 2009. Your genres, fantasy, adventure, family. And the first three plot keywords are potion, professor, and ring. I have no idea, so I'll need two more. All right, the next two are school and flying. I'll need one more. Okay, your last one is magic. I think I know the movie, but I, I don't remember the name. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Sorry. Okay. Alright, we were looking for Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. Oh, ha oh, I was thinking of a totally different movie. Alright. Oh. Okay. <laughs> cool. I knew it was one of the Harry Potters. I couldn't remember. I, All right. I, I, I didn't even have them on the screen. All right. Cool. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now we come into round four, and John took quite a lead there, getting uh, getting two towers. So. Man, man, it's unlucky for me. It's yeah. all right. It's all right. <laughs> we come into round four, and it will go as such. I have five questions in front of me. The competitor who is behind will go first and will go back and forth. 
basically put, this is how it's going to go. I will ask Jan a question, then I'll ask John a question. Let's say Jan hits his first film, or his first uh, question. Good. Then John misses his first. That tightens the gap. Basically, by, this, this round, by, the, end, by the end of this round, we'll have either our winner or we'll go to a tiebreaker. So, the category in this round is movie quotes. I will ask you to name the movie from the <coughs> quote. And Jan, you will go first. Let's just say I put them in a hole and I threw away the hole. Uh, suicide Squad. Nice done. Correct. John, your first quote. The Marleys were dead to begin with. The Marleys were dead to begin with. Five, four, three, two, Go one. On. on a blank. Okay. We're looking for the, the Muppet Christmas Carol, though, to be fair, that line is in the original Christmas Carol, so we would have accepted that as well. Oh, yep. uh, okay. Gotcha. Jacob. Yeah. All right. Jan. What's the score right now? The score right now is seven to six. Jan, Buddy. you will tie if you get this next one. All right. Mm-hmm. I need me eight soldiers, eight Jewish American soldiers. Oh, my God. Uh, Inglorious Bastards. Tie game! <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. oh, this is getting this is getting good now. Okay, John. Hey, Dad. Maybe when I'm at school, I'll see a shark. Uh, Finding Nemo. Nice. Just about yeah. almost ran out of time, but nicely done. <laughs> Okay, now Jan has to hit this oh, to, it's go, over. to go to tiebreaker. Uh, all right. I'm a damn good pilot. Period. Could be from anywhere. <laughs> Five, four, three, two. Force Awakens. And your winner! The real American, John Salvi! We were looking for Goldfinger. Oh, oh all right. I totally I totally agree with him on Force Awakens. <laughs> yeah, I was like, huh? I totally agree because I can't console with that. Well, actually, it's not set in Force Awakens. It's surprisingly not. Nope. But it oh. is what it is, and you know, I mean, here's the thing. I I've said it before, and I will say it again. I really appreciate the close matches when they come yes. down to literally the last possible question. It's just like it's, <laughs> ooh, just gets here. Man, that third round would kill me. I, I got <sighs> I got luck in that round three question because if he had if gotten I that, take, he totally I would have. I I immediately knew it. I was I was he, unlucky. Oh well. But it is what it is. Um, Jan, unfortunately, it didn't quite go the way you were hoping. That's fine. I had fun. Awesome. And I take it you plan on coming back? Sure. uh, Next year, whenever I can get scheduled, right? (laughs) (laughs) Well, it's good. Take a while, but that's fine. Well, that is that is the unfortunate thing about you know high demand and you know limited supply. But we that's that's cool. Exactly. And you know what? Thank you. And let's you know to to the winners today, John. Nicely done. How are you feeling? Thank you very much. I'm feeling great. Uh, Jan is a great, great match. You kept it close, and I was I was sweating bullets over here. <laughs> okay. Well, guys, uh, thank you so much. Uh, thanks for being part of this league. Uh, in case, final thoughts before I wrap this up. Yeah, this was a really good match. Like really close, down to the last question. I uh, this was a close one. This was a good one. Okay. Yeah, it definitely was. And 
you know, I think it's a good one, good way to kick off the the next batch of new competitors. Which, uh, again, that's pretty, that's pretty what we're gonna do for the next while here, guys. So stay tuned to see who else gets joined in with the fray. So, with that being said, I am the unofficial Harloff Chris Skywalker. We'll see you at the next match. Take care.